Welcome back guys to another video here on YouTube. My name is Marcus. You're watching Nama Chanza Vlogs. Let's get today started. That was a mouthful. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Super excited. Um, finally going to get the uh, motor completely reassembled today. That's what this video is about. You guys saw a title and thumbnail. We're going to do some detent springs, some heavy duty uh, spring selector. 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 Selector springs as well. Um, got these both at Hybrid Racing. The reason I went with Hybrid Racing is they were on sale. So um, Hybrid Racing is a site guys. If you want to check them out, hybridracing.com. If you guys want to stiffen up your transmission, this is the way to do it. So, shift selector springs, we got two here. Um, we got a fat one, skinny one. Skinny one goes inside, fat one goes on the outside, of course. Um, show you guys how to install those in just a little bit. We also got D10 springs here. There's three of these bad boys. They get kind of stuck together. Uh, I can get them separate. I don't want to mess them up, but three D D10 springs as well. We're gonna get these in, make our shift selector uh, a lot stiffer. So, um, with that being said, I already have my shift selector out because we went ahead and painted it. Showed you guys in the previous video. So, gonna be pretty easy for me, but I'll show you guys how to remove it regardless. Pretty simple. Um, take it off, put it on, same thing. Um, show you guys exactly how to do it real fast. So I'm gonna show you guys the difference between um, the hybrid racing and the OEM spec shifter springs real quick. These are gonna be the heavy duty here. These are gonna be the OEM. I'm gonna show you guys exactly how this is gonna um, affect our uh, shift selector. We're gonna make it more stiff. Um, when more stiff makes more precise shifts. That's what we want. So um, OEM, hybrid racing. So we're gonna compress these. As you guys can see, I'm struggling on the right hand side. This is gonna be our uh, hybrid racing. I'm gonna go one more time. So you guys see there, we struggled putting down our hybrid racing, which shows you guys. There's gonna be a stiffer spring, more stiff selector. So um, gonna be better for us in our throws. I like the way it feels as well. So if you guys wanna do the same thing at home, hybrid racing or speed factory. I went with hybrid racing, they had a cell, couldn't pass it up. So this is the, the big one. Okay, so now we have hybrid racing, OEM. So. You guys can see there, I compressed it all the way, and this one, we cannot compress it all the way. See that? That's the difference. Look at that. Ah. Stiffer spring. So, you guys want a stiffer spring? HybridRacing.com. You guys can see right there, we got some beauty hardware, some downstar. <laughs> Clean, crisp. So, anyway, um, shift selector has a bolt right here. I believe it's a 12 mil or a 13 mil. We gotta remove this. Once you remove this, this thing's gonna wanna come apart. So, what we gotta do, this right here, so what I'm grabbing right here, right in here, grab that and grab this part as well. And you're gonna pull all this out together. You have a washer. After the washer, you get your skinny spring. Next is our heavy duty spring right here. Just like so. Make sure that's aligned right there. Next, we're gonna have this little plate right here that goes over just like so. Push down on this right here. So, once we get it aligned, it should slip in, just like that. And then, our other side right here is trying to get aligned. It's aligned right there, so we're through now. Now what you gotta do is rotate this bitch. Until you find the hole. Once you find the hole, Put your screw in, do not forget your washer, and you're good. So we got our uh, brand new Honda bond right here. So we got the shift selector completely done. Everything's tightened down, you guys saw. Um, now all we gotta do is do our detent springs, one, two, and three. We're gonna remove those with I believe a 12 mil. Yes, 12 millimeter. Get those off and we should be good to go after that. But um, these are really, really easy to install. Um, they just have some little like uh, BBs in there so just be careful with that. Not BBs but like little balls, I don't know. I guess you could say like a little marble. But um, yeah, shift selector's working good. We're good there. So we don't got nothing to worry about there. So we got one of the detent springs out. This is the previous one. This is the OEM. This is the uh, hybrid racing one. Um, the difference between these um, is going to be just the length on them. I don't know anything else about these, just that they're gonna help stiffen up everything. But um, yeah, this one's longer to create, I guess, I guess better like pressure. I don't know exactly how to explain it or what, or like even like exactly what it is. But yeah, all we gotta do, come back down here, 
right there. Install that just like that. The BB's already in there, so you don't have to worry about that. And get our spring, I mean our bolt. D10 springs were so, so simple. It's just the removal of a bolt, a spring, throw the new spring in, put the bolt back in, tighten it up, and you're good. We got a few products in. Um, first off is gonna be our thermal gasket from K-Tune here. You guys can see that. That's our thermal gasket right here. Um, make sure we don't get too much heat into the intake manifold because uh, you want your air to be cooler. We don't want it hot. Um, next, we're gonna have our O-ring for our water pump housing. So next, we have our clutch fork boot here. It's gonna be that. And then we have our uh, thermostat housing right here, our gasket for that. So we're gonna get everything installed. Hopefully we finish everything by the end of this video and you guys will see a good looking motor again. Hopefully all the pieces to the puzzle look nice with how we painted them. And uh, for now, let's just get you guys on a tripod. We'll get to installing everything. Hopefully everything goes well. Hopefully we didn't miss anything. And uh, hopefully by the end of this video, you guys will see a good looking motor again and a full motor <laughs> with everything on it, all the accessories. And uh, I'm super, super stoked guys. Let's get this underway. Oh my God, look at the difference, bro. Look how much better that looks. If you guys like how this is turning out so far, give this video a thumbs up. That's what it's looking like once we get the manifold on there. See, I'm super, super excited on this, guys. It looks so good so far. Um, this is our sheet right here that tells you exactly where everything goes. So you have like throttle positioning sensor, which is TPS, map sensor. You have everything right here. And we are going to get our intake manifold ones right here. We have seven of those and then four of the throttle body. We're going to get all these installed on our uh, intake manifold, make it look prettier. But yeah, if you guys want to cop some of this, it's at downstar.com. Uh, as you guys can see, these things speak for themselves, bro.
right, so the last thing on our list um, is going to be putting on the transmission, slapping this on. After that, we're going to be golden. Um, show you guys the finished product in just a second. Let's get this transmission melted, guys. Success. Now we gotta get the bolts all around, we're good to go. Transmission is completely done. I'm super, super hyped on how this thing looks. It looks so, so good. I don't know if you can tell about my smile, but oh my God, this thing looks so, so good. Did not expect it to look this good, but I am super, super happy that it turned out this good. Um, <laughs> oh my God. Like I can't stop staring at it. I've been staring at it for probably like the last five to 10 minutes. I'm trying to figure out what I'm gonna say on camera. Um, just like in awe, like because like, oh my God, this thing looks amazing can't wait to have this thing completely finished with that being said guys everything looks so much better we have so much hardware on there that's brand brand new it looks so so good so what you guys think from one to ten comment down below hit the like button if you like it if you're new make sure to subscribe to the channel because things are just gonna get better um we're gonna finish more things and get this thing finally running one day and i can't wait to show you guys but for right now let's go over this motor so you guys saw today we did the uh, springs in the uh, shift selector. We also did the detent springs in the uh, transmission as well in this casing here, this part of the casing. So we did everything downstar from the shift selector to the um, shift cable brackets to all the bell housing to trans to motor. Um, we got some right here. These are gonna be for our um, throttle cable we got one for our map sensor we have two that need to go on the um tps but i need to get this completely off we have hardware all on the intake manifold all around the bottom as well you guys can see in there um valve cover has hardware as well these are the new ones here looks so good look at that shining like a diamond we got two here for this uh housing right here for the coolant we got this one here this these here for the sensors um got one for the uh speed sensor there slave cylinder don't forget that we got some more here one two three in there and uh we got more here one two three and then we got the vtex solenoid here as well one two three tell me that isn't looking so good So tell me what you guys think down below. Um, there's supposed to be more hardware coming in soon, so stay tuned for another video. I'm gonna finish the hardware on this whole motor. Everything is gonna be downstar, everything. But um, tell me what you guys think of the motor so far, transmission, everything is looking amazing. Super, super grateful to be able to be in this position and uh, also being able to share it with you guys. So if you guys are enjoying the video so far, um, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button if you're new. Don't forget to comment down below if uh, you're gonna rate this video for me. And without further ado, guys, I'm gonna wrap it up because it's fucking freezing. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.